Game one of the NBA Finals between the Boston Celtics and the Dallas Mavericks tipping off this week. ESPN's Malika Andrews joins us with a preview. Malika, good morning. Thanks for being here. The Celtics, the best team in the NBA, led by Jason Tatum. How close is he to getting that goal of winning a championship? Whew, that's a great question. Good morning, Janae. I mean, this may be Jason Tatum's best shot yet. Of course, this is the second time in three years that the Boston Celtics have been in the NBA Finals. They lost in 2022 to the Golden State Warriors. You see them against the Pacers last round here. But Jason Tatum, he said afterwards he couldn't even enjoy it when they lost, when people came up to him and said that was a great run because they fell short of their goal. But he told me earlier this season he feels like this is a better team than they had in 2022 with the addition of Chris Stapps Porzingis, of Drew Holiday as well. And he said that he just feels like he is a better player who is ready to be the best guy out there on the floor and finally lead his team to that elusive banner number 18. Malika, let's talk about one of the best young stars in the league, basically known by his first name, right? Luca. Yeah. What are you looking forward to in his first finals appearance? Yeah, I mean, Luca is just, they call him Luca Magic, right, for a reason. He leads all players in points and rebounds, assists this postseason. He was the scoring champion in the regular season. This is his first NBA Finals, but you have to remember, he has been a pro since he was 13 years old so he's already played in a finals in Europe so potentially that sort of experience can really help him on this stage when the lights are the brightest and by the way it doesn't hurt when you have a running mate like Kyrie Irving who has hit one of the biggest shots in NBA finals history in 2016 in that game seven with the Cavaliers yeah the two of them have just been so good let's turn now Malika to the WNBA because Caitlin Clark had another big win uh, in her rookie career here but let's talk about this play on the court of foul that mm. is getting a lot of attention big debate bait over it. Yeah, so what we came into thinking is going to be, okay, it's Angel Reese versus Caitlin Clark, sort of a, a, a rematch of a rivalry we saw, turned into a moment where Chenity Carter, you see right here, a really hard foul on Caitlin Clark, and it just wasn't a basketball play, is what Caitlin Clark said, and that's absolutely correct here. But what I think is important for folks to remember is these are competitors. These women are fierce competitors, and sometimes that teeters over the line. We see it happen in the NBA as well, and I think that that's what happened here. So rather than using this as some sort of evidence of a larger issue that players have with Caitlin Clark specifically. I think we need to see this as an isolated incident where competition just boiled over a little bit and ultimately the Fever got a much needed win, their first win on their home floor this season. All right. It, that ESPN's, is fantastic. It is fantastic. ESPN's Malika Andrews, thank you so much. Always such a pleasure to have you here on GMA. And hey, you can catch game one of the NBA Finals on Thursday at 8.30 Eastern right here on ABC.